uh, traffic guru for the stars is what I'm going to start calling you. And uh, Dimitri, you have a pretty unique opinion as to where digital marketing is going in general. What's the crystal ball look like from your perspective? Well, creative is number one on there. It's just, that's where it's going. All creative endeavors will, the best of the best will rise to the top. The next thing is leveraging the technology and the AI and whatever you want to call it, automation that we do have as marketers. And the way to do that is really through tracking and targeting and letting the platforms know who it is that actually is a good customer for you. Because they'll go and get you more of those. That's what they do. Hmm. If you tell them to get leads, they'll get you more leads, but maybe your leads are low quality and that's why things aren't working for you. But if you say, but if you actually identify through a CRM, which of your leads are profitable for you and you tell google these hey please more of these profitable leads google will say yes sir and get you more or facebook ads whatever it is that or TikTok even which are which is improving uh very rapidly yeah i've heard that from a number of people now TikTok was a dumpster fire and now all of a sudden it's a super viable network and uh, in addition to that and kind of following the wave of of hermosi offer building and providing value for customers really that's where things are going is value value how how are you delivering value and this is really good for both marketers and consumers because it that just means everything gets better more problems will actually get solved and advertising might actually start to get a better name than it used to be where you know, people are worried about getting scammed by advertising, but scams by and large are going to go away, especially for high ticket. Um, so providing this, providing more value is where everything is going. If you don't like providing value, you shouldn't be a course creator anyway. If you don't like providing value, you shouldn't be building physical products. Um, you're just not going to succeed in this market that's coming up in the future. Mm, you said something I think is really interesting about scams going away. I feel like in a lot of ways they already have. It's so hard now to run a business with a bad reputation. It's so obvious. This is so easy to find. You know, somebody Googles your name or your brand name and, you know, it's, it's actually, it's difficult in the other way. It's so easy for any joker on the internet to say something bad about you. And now we have a reputation management issue on our hands. But if you really are doing shady stuff, I feel like it just comes out so quickly and it's a, tar it's a difficult thing for those types to navigate around. Yeah. And you, and you can't really build a real business around these things. It's like the sociopaths who go from city to city and bother some people until they got, get find out, found out about that they're crazy and they have to move mm -hmm. on to the next city. Same with the scammers. Okay. You can scam a few people, but it's only going to last so long. So if you're wanting to build something that has, enterprise value or has staying power over time, you just have to deliver a good product. And Amazon was is partly or maybe mostly to blame for this because they standardized 30-day returns, reviews. Everything is reviewed. If you're not a four-star plus or 4.5 star, depending on the product, no one's going to even give you a second look. Right. And if you don't have reviews, same thing. Yeah, that 30-day return thing. I always wondered about that. You know, if you go to Target even, take Amazon aside and remove the digital revolution from the discussion, the fact that Target will take anything back, no questions asked, or Costco or Land's End, like that's a horrible business model from the outside looking in, right? On paper, in the boardroom, on the whiteboard, it's just like, this is stupid, you guys. We're just going to lose money, hand over fist. But what ended up happening is people just needed to know they could trust you. And now half the shit I should return, I don't, because it's just too, you know, I got a shower curtain in, in the mail the other day because I, I, it doesn't matter why. I, I ended up ordering <laughs> a superfluous shower curtain. The story's not necessary. Here's what's funny about it, man, is the amount of time, effort, and energy it'll take me to return that terror curtain isn't worth it. But I know that I can at any point, and that's, that's why I continue to shop through Amazon. So I think it's a really, really masterful point. Well, uh, and, and your partner, um, Jason Fladlin, who talks about, offers and building guarantees is guarantees, right? I mean, we're going to guarantee this offer and this is goes for high ticket. 
we're going to guarantee this offer. Sometimes it's double your money back or triple or whatever else it may be. Mm. Um, and you think everyone's going to just ask for a refund. I mean, this is a digital product. It's, it's, it's difficult to prove that it was consumed or value was transferred over or whatever. The credit card companies are, are, are difficult with chargebacks and things like that. So, but what ends up happening is way more people buy because of just what you said is they know they could return it. Right. Welcome to Daily Google News. This is Kasim here with a uh, frequent flyer actually on the YouTube channel. Everybody knows Glenn. Glenn, you're uh, you're awesome, man. Appreciate you being here. Kasim. Used to yeah. be a regular with the um, Friday Lives with John till we canned him. Yeah. Jumping 